In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use the UKIT EDU app and build the golf club robot. When you open the app, you'll find this screen. Feel free to create an account or move forward as a guest. Once you're in the app, you'll need to download the builds for the two UKIT levels, beginner and intermediate. For this video, we're going to utilize the UKIT beginner builds. You can scroll left or right to view the models. Let's select the golf club robot. Before you begin building, here are a few tips when working in the 3D building environment. First, you'll notice there's a step counter on the left side of the screen. The golf club is 30 steps to complete. You can move through these steps by tapping the arrows at the bottom of the screen or by dragging the scroll bar. While you are building, you can zoom in and move around the pieces to get a closer look. Step one, you'll notice the green box that is flashing around the servo shown under the step counter. This is to remind you to use the servo labeled ID01. It's very important to use the correct servos in the specified places when building your robots. Otherwise, your robot might not function correctly. If you look closely at the servo, you'll notice that the shaft is labeled with different shapes. When building, make sure that the triangle is pointed directly up toward the notch. The triangle represents the setting of zero degrees which is the default setting of the servos. You can also see a larger image of the piece by tapping the image on the left below the stepped counter. You can find another pop-up image of a complete parts list on the piece in the bottom left corner of the screen. The last thing to note is a collapsible progress monitor on the right. Once you move past the gray bar on the scroll bar, this image will change the next part that you need to build. Once done building, you can start coding. Select the flashing green check mark in the upper right hand corner and enter the block coding environment. To build codes, drag and drop blocks. These blocks are contained within drawers shown on the left side of the screen. The color of the symbols within the drawer will be the same as the blocks inside. Codes read top to bottom and you can drag and drop blocks from the drawers on the left to assemble codes. You'll notice the when run is tap block is already out in the coding space. You can tell it's a start block by the color. Let's take a look at the example code provided in the app. To access, tap on the list icon with the three dashes and lines in the upper right corner. From here, select the example one code. Let's look at the code for the golf club. The first block, when run is tapped, will start the code. That means that when you touch the blue arrow button in the lower right hand corner, the code will start. The next block, Rotate Servo, will move the servo with ID 01 to 68 degrees. Remember, when the triangle of the shaft is pointed directly up, it's at 0 degrees. It will take 300 milliseconds to move there. All code is in milliseconds, so you can program servos to move faster than a second. Then the servo will wait, not move, for 500 milliseconds or half a second. Next, the servo will rotate to negative 26 degrees at a faster speed of 200 milliseconds. And finally, the servo will return to its zero degree setting and stop. Let's connect to see it in action. Make sure the Bluetooth connection on your device is open. Next, locate the serial number on the underside of the main control box. The last four digits of the top number will be the ID number that you'll match when connecting. The first time you connect, you might be prompted to update your firmware. If this happens, proceed with the update. It won't take too long. Once connected, if you change the code and want to save, tap the disk icon in between the list and Bluetooth icons to save your project. You can even input images and rename your code. Now that you know how to get your robot moving, try and change your golf club code to hit a hole in one.